because I'm actually involved in a project that um, includes this film in it. I work at the Irish Embassy now and I was able to work with Scotland House on a collaboration, um, a cultural collaboration celebrating our shared heritage, um, which for in which Aidan came down and played um, about two weeks ago, a week ago, ten days. Um, and we had four amazing musicians on stage and it went absolutely beautifully and this is now the second part of that project. So this is the film that um, that the whole project originated with. Um, so I'm going to hand you over to Aidan who's going to tell you a little bit more about that and um, he's going to play a few tunes as well. Thanks Kelly. Um, so nice to be here. Yeah, thank you Kelly. Kelly's been doing some amazing work between, um, well, in my experience, between Edinburgh and Scotland and London and Ireland over the last few years, um, including coming up to the International Festival and hearing the concerts that this film stemmed from, or the idea for this film kind of passed through these concerts. Um, I don't really want to say too much about the film until afterwards, a bit a Q and A then, um, but uh, the film was made in lockdown. It was. Um, it started off with me wandering through a deserted Edinburgh with Mark Cousins discussing the layers of history around us in the old town in Edinburgh and what had remained when the tourists had actually disappeared for a while, which was pretty glorious. Um, so stick around afterwards, we'll talk about it more and um, I'd like to thank Mark and Hopscotch Films for supporting the Edinburgh International Festival for encouraging our endeavours. Um, Kelly and Culture Ireland and the Irish Embassy for supporting and also everyone here at the, the London Irish Film Festival. So I'll play a couple of tunes and then we can all have a big chat about it at the end. Thank you. 